Cescara Finasca, a joint venture of Unipetrol, Agipetrol, Conoco and Shell, runs the two biggest petroleum refineries in the Czech Republic, one in Litvinov and the other one in Kralupina de Vltavo. It is the biggest petroleum processing company and petroleum products manufacturer in the Czech Republic. The petroleum processing capacity is over 8 million tons of petroleum per year. The products are sold both on the domestic market and abroad. During the summer of 1998, Ceskara Finerska started the construction of a new processing unit in Litvinov. This new plant is part of an extensive company investment program planned by the shareholders for the period 1997 to 2002, an investment involving 17,000 million Czech crowns. The expenses to construct the waste breaker with an operational capacity of 2,500 tons of raw material per day reached 1.36 thousand million Czech crowns. Its general contractor is the Brno-based company ABB Lumos Global. Twenty other Czech companies cooperated in the unit construction. The construction was started with a ceremonial groundbreaking by managing directors of both the investor and contractor. Why has Česká Rafinerska, in fact its shareholders, decided to build a vis breaker in the refinery in Litvinov? The reason for the construction of the unit for deeper processing of petroleum was the absence of such a plant in the refinery in Litvinov that would enable us to reach the European level of the petroleum yield, as well as interlinked production of petroleum products. The vis breaker, a unit of thermal cracking or heavy petroleum fraction, was such a plant, but it is inclusion in the from scheme of the refinery, the petroleum yield increases to approximately 85%. The Vispreaker construction commenced with groundworks. Due to the quality of subsoil and according to the load plan, the base course of this construction required constructing dozens of micro piles and the building of concrete slabs placed in shallow layers of the soil. Meanwhile, various excavation works were carried out, such as the works on the future slop water management. Modern Czech engineering companies manufactured special apparatus using the shelf know-how. The reactor was manufactured in Škoda Pilzeň. The transportation of the biggest components of the unit to Česká Rafinerska and Litvinov required special measures. Specialized transportation companies had to cope with the weight of several tons and the length exceeding several dozen meters. Some apparatus needed to be manipulated at the plants to enable the safe and timely transportation to the place of construction. A specific example is the placing of the reactor into the frame structure at a height of 10 meters. A height of 30 meters, 3 meters in diameter and a weight of tons. These are the main size parameters of the atmospheric distillation column. The vacuum columns were 10 meters lower and less than one meter wider in diameter. However, for process reasons, it was necessary to place them on a load-bearing structure at the height of 16 meters. The assembly works were carried out by companies with experience gained in assemblies all over the world. For ABB Lumos Global, this means plant construction of top quality. Uh, in general, you can say that the uh, construction of the Visbreaker unit is, uh, was very successful. We had a very good cooperation with the, uh, all the Czech suppliers of the equipment and, the, uh, and also the construction companies which were involved uh, with the construction. One of the major achievements of this construction was that the construction was done without any accidents. The Vispreka is not the first project we have carried out for Česká Rafinerska. It was a demanding task, but we had the support of the qualified team of Česká Rafinerska. 
The results have been achieved thanks to two reasons. Firstly, thanks to our qualified engineers, and secondly, thanks to the application of the LAMAS project execution system. One year had elapsed since the ceremonial first excavation and the vase breaker was ready to be put into operation. What is the significance of this unit for Ceskara Finerska? It will reduce the amount of produce heavy residue and infer transform them into more valuable products made from crew process in the refinery. What is the main principle the technology operates on? The technological process of cracking takes place in the furnace in Solka, a non-horizontal pipeline with a length of approximately 200 meters and conic diameter between 150 and 1200 millimeters. Here the required thermal expansion of the residue from the atmospheric column to the vacuum column is realized. In the beginning of September 1999, the first operation test started with the substitute medium with water. During the evening of Thursday, the 21st of October, Ceska Rafnerska started to put the unit into operation with the hydrocarbon packing. The control room is the management center of the whole unit. The whole unit is controlled from this control room. We start the unit up, but it out of operation from here and also carry out measures in case of collision. How many people will control the vis breaker? After it's running, has established a new unit will be controlled by one person. The control of such a unit can be divided to, into two parts. The first one is the control from the outside. The second one is the control of the unit from the control room. This will be carried out from this one by the hydrocracker operators. The whole construction of the new vis breaking unit in Litvinov was completed in very short record breaking time. It took 15 and a half months. The only thing that remains to be done is the ceremonial cutting of the ribbon.